when I saw the level of consciousness and this whole other part of this baby that I never thought was possible. At first it was very hard for me, it was very painful because I was also learning that some of our medical interventions and our way of not recognizing the kids, the babies were that uh, conscious, were hurtful to kids, were, were leaving hurtful imprints. And as a nurse, I had been the one doing some of these things, like separating babies from mothers, which now I would just never ever do. And I had to deal with, I wish I had been able to know this before, and I wish I could have been different with this baby. And I made a choice because I could have just kind of run away from this field and said, well, this is a bunch of hooey, or I want to find out everything I can. And there was such exquisite integrity in that baby and beauty in that baby that I said, I want to learn everything I can. So that's when the probably the biggest challenge on a session by session basis, every single time I was with babies and children and their families, was to let go of our traditional ways of seeing what's possible, allow that bigger landscape of possibility and have them teach us. And what I quickly found was that they showed me and told me stories from birth as a newborn, stories in the womb, very complex series of events that happened over a weekend when they were five weeks in Europe, what happened when their parents discovered them, what happened at conception. What I found is babies are functioning in a much they're more conscious in some ways than we are because they're functioning in two worlds very consciously, flipping back and forth. You know, just this dynamic between spirit side and, phys and physical plane side, between their transcendent self and this little human body and human self that's growing. And that self-relationship to me is of primary importance that we want it to be as coherent and heart-centered experience as possible. I would love to see where we've really flipped things around, where our society, our communities, our organizations, businesses, families, everybody understands that when a life comes in, that it's a very sacred, event, the most sacred, as someone's coming in, that it's their most sacred time of having that potential to become who they can be and having the most open, flourishing heart that they can have. Because it's that flourishing heart that helps us build who we are at all of our other levels.